So this video is going to show you how to chase reasons for not having spark and to get your fuel pump to come on, which is usually caused by an ACS problem. So then how to bypass the ACS and also how to get your charging system to work without that original ACS. These are a couple of Polaris Indy 500 sleds. Both of them are 1993. This one here is carbureted and that one is uh, fuel injected. Now the carbureted one will start and run. The fuel injection one wouldn't. So it had no spark. So I'm gonna go through and show you how to figure out your no spark issue. Um, I spent many hours reading different threads and I'm going to summarize it for you so it's a little bit easier. Well, I'm going to start with the carbureted one because it's got fewer things in the way. Like there's no battery box or anything. So <clears throat> it makes it a little bit easier to show you some of the wiring. First thing that uh, you probably did is you probably pulled out a spark plug and cranked it over to see if it sparked. So. Uh, word of advice, make sure that uh, your cable, or your wire is screwed in tight inside. I spent probably 15 minutes or more before I realized that uh, it wasn't connected inside. So that makes a big difference if you're looking for spark. So once you've confirmed you don't have any spark, the next thing you do is come down and unplug this black wire that runs to your coil pack. Now what that does is it eliminates your key or your kill switch as a source of killing your uh, spark from your coil pack. So the thing is with the electronic fuel injection is when you unplug this, it will no longer read the RPM of the motor and it, the fuel pump won't come on. So you won't hear the pump coming on anymore, but you're looking for spark. So we'll start, start with that, right? Now, once you've done that and verified you still don't have any spark, if that's what's happened, the next step would be to look at the wires coming out of your pulse coil. So in these ones, you unplug this and what you're gonna do is you can see the colors of the wires here. You got the, I think that's red and black and brown and white and partially colorblind. So <laughs> I think I'm right. Anyway, you're gonna wanna test on the motor side of those wires. And you're gonna test the resistance between them. So it'll be this center hole and then one of these other ones is your is your other wire, not the white one. So the resistance you're looking for is 163 ohms, and when I did it, I had 160 ohms. So I knew my my pulse coil itself wasn't uh, was the the coil itself was continuous. Then you're going to test between those wires and the block and see if the, maybe the wiring is grounded out to the block. And once you've verified that it's, there's no connection between each of those wires versus the block, then you can go forward and assume that your pulse coil is good. Um, you could also, if you have someone to help you, you could get someone to pull it over while you're touching both of those wires with your voltmeter and your voltmeter should jump around you won't get a constant reading because you're getting pulses, but it should jump around. So that tells you it's creating a pulse. So the next step that I took was I disconnected or not really disconnected, but I swung the exhaust out of the way. And then I pulled the battery box out. And on the back of the battery box, 
right where those holes are was this now this they call an acs and what it does is it is the voltage regulator for the two coils that charge the battery because there's another coil that runs your lights and stuff so i believe that that is the voltage regulator for that anyway this goes to your battery the red one these two come off the stators and this one it goes to this orange one here with the dots on it and it powers up your computer so quick way to test to see if this is actually providing power is take your orange wire that runs into the harness and give it power and when you do you should hear your fuel pumps come on they should pulse and then when you pull if everything else tested good including your coil pack you should get spark now I'm going to uh, put the values in for the coil pack uh, I believe it's test you can test that with uh, resistance as well with an ohm meter and uh, I just swapped it between machines and yes it did indeed spark so now I've got this running it'll run to the battery to a toggle switch and I'll be able to turn the computer off and on. I'm gonna put a light on here so that it's a reminder that that switch is on because I left it on overnight. So my battery's dead, but you know, that's how it goes. To bypass the ACS, I ran power from the battery up to this switch. And then it goes back and goes into into the orange wire here and that runs into the, the harness so when i flip that switch it wakes up the computer i think it's important that i note that this switch which turns on the the computer only needs to be turned on and then you can turn it off again it what it does is it wakes up the computer for about 10 minutes so if you've uh, been running the machine and you turn it off, you should be able to start it up again within 10 minutes without having to turn that switch. Which is also why I want to put a light here, because I have the habit of turning things on and leaving them on. <laughs> uh, so now I'm going to uh, replace this. but I'm not going to replace it with another ACS. What I have is another three wire voltage regulator that was originally for a, I think a 96 Explorer, Polaris Explorer quad. So it'll have these first three wires, it won't have the orange one. So essentially what I'm gonna do is make sure that the system's charging because when I tested it, I'm still, my battery voltage doesn't change between running and not running. So. I'm gonna hook, hook up the new one and then uh, give it a shot. This is the voltage regulator that I'm going to put on. And you can see it's got the, the red and the, the two other wires, which is essentially the same as this one. So I'm just going to hook them up. So it'll be red, yellow, red, and then the yellow white, I think, for the other one. I'm just gonna hook them up like that. I don't think these two, the order matters. Maybe it does. I guess I'll find out when I start it.
Thank you.